Hey guys, this is Damien with Dame Tech back with another video. Now let's talk about the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. This SoC is Qualcomm's newest flagship chipset that will replace the Snapdragon 888 and was recently announced on November 30th. This chip will be housed in most of the 2022 flagship Android phones. There are significant improvements coming to the CPU and GPU with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. According to Qualcomm, the new CPU is 20% faster and 30% more efficient than the Snapdragon 888. As for the GPU, it's supposedly 30% faster in graphics rendering and draws 25% less power. Now with this being said, and having both the world's first Snapdragon 8 in one phone, the Motorola Edge X30 being released in China, along with hands-on testing with Qualcomm's reference device, let's look at the real-life results in both benchmarks and gaming. Starting with the CPU, I'm not seeing much of a huge improvement as CPU gains appear to range around 10% improvement. As for GPU, here we can see impressive gains as the GPU goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Apple's A15 Bionic chip. Now let's talk about the graphically demanding mobile game, Genshin Impact. A tester by the name of Digital Chat Station released Genshin Impact 30-minute FPS test results on the Moto Edge X30. Here we can see quite a big FPS performance jump from the Snapdragon 888 Plus SoC compared to the new 8 Gen 1 chip. As you can see, the latest Snapdragon chipset averages 58 FPS compared to 48 FPS produced by the Snapdragon 888 Plus. As for power consumption, here's where things aren't looking too great. The Moto Edge X30 is averaging almost 8 watts of power, which is quite on the high side compared to 3 watts of power used by the Snapdragon 888 Plus. As of now, it definitely seems the Snapdragon 888 Plus is more power efficient when looking at the FPS and power consumption ratio. Last but not least, I must note, the tester did note that ambient testing temperature was at 15 Celsius for all of these tests, which drastically does affect FPS performance results. For reference, all of my tests are done at 25 Celsius ambient temperature, and therefore, higher temperature does indeed increase performance throttling. All in all, from my initial impression, the Snapdragon HN1 is bringing huge improvements in GPU performance in the mobile gaming department. However, as for CPU performance, improvements does appear to be minor. With that being said, thanks for watching, and see you next time.